Right. Well, Thomas, uh, we are, I'm Ben. This is JG. We're the Game to Love hey podcast. We try to bring a bit of fun to the tennis tour, uh, and we're more about the future of tennis. Uh, so we like to watch a lot of challenger tennis, okay. that type of thing. Uh, so I can make you sure that I won't be in the future <laughs> of the tennis. So I don't know if I'm the right, right person to be to be interviewed if you're talking about the future of tennis. But okay, let's try that. But okay. you, you must have come from. The, everyone starts somewhere, as we know, yes, and uh, you definitely came up and you shot up and you went to the dizziest heights uh, okay. of of the whole of tennis. And yeah, thank you. It's incredible to be sat here with you, to be honest. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, what first off. This tournament, it's very exciting, it's very fun. What's it like to play at the Royal Albert Hall? It is very special. I mean, it's, it, it makes me, you know, goosebumps. Look, I mean, you're just talking about it, and it, it is. The special is unique. I love the unique places, and yeah, uh, yeah. Royal Albert Hall is one of them. And obviously, there won't be much other op- you know, possibilities to play. So I'm lucky yeah. to be here for the last, last one. Last one. Yeah. So I'm enjoying every moment on the court in this uh, super unique place. Well, it's brilliant. We'd like to speak to you about a couple of the, like, the Czech players. We obviously know that there's been great stuff on the women's side this year. We've had, obviously, uh, Barbara Klaichikova. She's yes. winning Roland Garros. A Pliskova. She obviously got to the final of Wimbledon. Amazing year for women's tennis. On the men's side, we have uh, we we spoke to Thomas Mahak, uh, yes, uh, yes. and uh, we've uh, we would love to get Yiri Laheka on Lahecha, as well. Yeah. But how, where do you see like the height for these players? Uh, do you think that they're going to grow and get into maybe the top fifty sometime soon? Well, look, I mean, they are all of them. You mentioned they are young; they are around twenty. So yes, correct. Young guys, and I think these days it's just maybe slightly different. It's just the age a little bit moved, you know, because back then I was seventeen and uh, I was already climbing a little bit, you know, faster. But I mean, these days I think it's normal to being around twenty, twenty-one. Just yep. they are close to top hundred, and uh, you know, after these tough times, I think they they just have a bright future ahead. I mean. Predictions being top 50, top 20, it's always very difficult because the tennis is, you know, yeah, yeah. such a difficult and unpredicted sport that, yes. you know, you can have all the tools with you, you know, and then you can be very lucky and then it just goes skyrocket and then could be a one unfortunate thing, you know, maybe an injury or something it, and yeah. then it goes completely the other way. So, yeah, I mean, I hope they're going to, they're going to carry the flag high after me and Radek and uh, hopefully anytime soon they will be they will be up there of course let's talk more about you we've got you here now uh, courses of time as well it's a real honor to have you complete legend of the sport <laughs> we got you. the privilege to watch you yesterday as well yeah, from yeah. uh where was we in the, the little booth is booths up the top okay. and uh, it was amazing just seeing you moving around on the tennis court again Playing, does it make you miss it again? Playing in a competitive environment, or? Well, I think the, the time I just decided to, you know, stop and just, you know, end of my career. I think it was just spot on, you know. And I also like mentally just, I just deal with it that you know I just really turned the page of of the professional career and uh, and now I mean speaking if I miss it or not. I mean obviously I do, but. I'm so realistic person that, you know, just looking course, at it yeah. these days, it's like, I mean, no, there were more things that makes me decide to stop. So, yeah, would I love to play more Wimbledon? Yes, I would, but I wouldn't be, you know, able to do so. So, yeah. uh, I mean, it's it's great to have all those nice memories which I have from the past and now maybe I would maybe ruin it, you know, playing just yeah. and push it too much. So, I enjoy the time being in this occasion because it's more about fun not that yeah. real competitiveness you yeah, know what I mean course, so yeah. I think it's just the right right moment for the right things and not just that you're all obviously such a legend that you can always be involved in tennis and yeah. do you have any other plans involved in tennis where you can be sort of doing some coaching or doing things for events uh Look, I mean, I was so busy with my my tennis career, and I mean, it's been just yeah, as I said, two years that I'm out of it, and uh, for now, I'm I don't really feel that I want to do that almost daily commitment okay. to especially coaching because I know if you want to be successful and if you want to help the player really well, you have to be there 
to him, you know, almost 24-7, so it's really intense. So I'm not in that stage yet. So who knows, maybe a couple of years, maybe it's going to be, I don't know, sooner or later, let's see. And uh, yeah, maybe it would be nice really to maybe try to bring an a ATP tournament to check to yeah. because I think that uh, would deserve it. I mean, we have WTA, I mean, there was sure. Davis Cup and Fed Cup for, for this year. So I think it would be it would be nice. So yeah, that might be something that I would be interested in. Yeah, because obviously we're very big on the challengers, and we know yeah. there's a few challengers in Prague specifically, yes. Yes, some good clay is. court yeah. events. And Aslan Karatsev, we see him. He was playing in them tournaments not too long exactly. ago with now, the likes of Stan Wawrinka there yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a bit of a topsy turvy year with everything what's been going on. Uh, but we've seen some really standout names. Emma Raducanu, oh, she's had yeah. a fantastic one. <laughs> Anything you wanted to talk about with her? No, exactly. I mean, that's a that's a perfect example of you know mentioning the young guys from from Czech. You know, yeah. I mean, what she's been 300 in what three, yeah. four, five months ago, and now she's 15 or you know. So <laughs> I mean, and, Grand and, Slam champion <laughs> and Grand Slam champion. So you know, who would say that? I'm not saying that the guys maybe you know they might have a similar future. But uh, back to Emma, I mean, I just actually have a chance to hit with her right now. And uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's great, to, great to see her on the court. I mean, young lady being so passionate about it already with the result like that. Yeah. So, I mean, in a good way, it's a, it's a tough future waiting on her. But I would say with the nice bright lights around it. Great. Well, uh, we, we know we've got to wrap this up fairly quickly. Uh, I'll just ask you one uh, one more question. Obviously, Wimbledon being the home tournament for for us guys, uh, we, it was amazing to see you play in the final there. Obviously, uh, defeated by Rafa, but <laughs> the semi final, one of the go- only guys to defeat Djokovic in straight sets on grass. Just take us like a brief. Uh, right overview how did that feel that day because not many people have done that yeah guys I mean that felt really good I mean that's that's something what really always you know comes up in my mind and it's it's really a a nice bright uh, experience from from the past and uh, yeah I think everything just you know clicked perfectly that day and I had a I had a really 100% of, of myself being on the court and yeah it resulted as a as a win over over Novak and uh, yeah, I mean one of those matches is something what you what will be with you all the time. Yeah, it definitely goes down in history. Uh, an amazing result. Well, I think we've got to wrap this one up now. Yeah. No, nothing. Just you're a GTL legend now. Thanks for coming on the podcast. And, Thank you, guys. Uh, enjoy Thanks. the rest of the event. Thank you so much. Cheers. Pleasure.